Hey guys, it's RunePunks, and today we're going to be doing a quest guide on the quest Temple of Icob. So to do this quest, you're going to need 42 thieving and 40 range. Item requirements are 20 limpert roots, a knife or a slash weapon, a magic or a U-bow, and a light source. It's recommended to bring a teleport to Varrock. I brought two because I've never done this quest and I'm not sure what's to come. It's also recommended to bring weight reducing armor if you can. Be careful because if you do not have weight reducing armor and you weigh more than negative 5 kilograms, you are going to have to make an extra trip later in the quest. So we can begin this by speaking with Lucian, who resides right here in East Ardoon at the pub. So we go over here and talk to Lucian. And we say we're a mighty hero. He'll tell us a story. We say that sounds like a laugh. He will give you the pendant, and then we have started the quest. We need this pendant to actually get into the temple. So put it on, and we're going to have to go find the temple, which is south of the ranging guild and east of the fishing guild. So we climb down this ladder. If you do not have weight reducing armor, then you want to only bring your knife or slashing weapon, your light source, and your pendant. If you do have weight reducing armor, then you can bring everything you see here. So just go through the room and ignore the gates. And when you get to the stairs, go down them. Just walk through the room and slash the web with your knife. And grab the boots of lightness. So now run back and head up the stairs. And we're going to go through the gate with the skeletons in it. You need your pendant to get in here. So once you're in here, you need to cross the bridge. You need to weigh less than zero kilograms to cross this bridge. And once you're inside, pick up the lever. And now head back out of this room. Now that we're out here, we want to head over to where we entered the cave and put the lever fragment into the lever bracket. Now before we do this next part, if you have a low defense level or if you are a peer, then it is recommended to go bank your items right now because you will be being attacked by level 61 ice spiders. But it should be pretty easy if you brought food or you have the protect from melee prayer. So now just pull this lever and you can head into the gate now. So I'm just going to run down through. So once you get here, there will be cutoffs with chests and we're looking for ice arrows. Every time, one of the chests will have five ice arrows. And we need to do this until we have about 30 ice arrows.
So now go back into the place with skeletons and go north. Search the lever for traps. Make sure you actually pull the lever. This requires 42 thieving. Now go south and then head west. And we will find a door that we can go in now. Now go north and try to open this door and you will be attacked by a fire wizard. So get ready to protect from magic. He won't attack you until the dialogue is done or you attack him. Make sure to equip your bow and your ice arrows and then attack him and put on protect from magic if you need it. He can only be hurt by the ice arrows. So he's pretty easy to kill. After you're done with him, we can walk right through the door. And we can talk to Winelda the Witch. Give her your limpert roots. So now make sure to take off your pendant of Lucian. Walk through the skeletons, open this wall, and talk to the Guardian of Armadil. There are two ways to end this quest. Both have the same rewards. We're going to do the good way. So we just talk to him and we tell him we are seeking the staff of Armadil. Tell him that Lucian will give you a grand reward for it. And then say it's time for my yearly bath. Now say, okay, I'll help. Now you'll have an armadillo pendant. Now we're going to leave the room and go down the path until we find a shiny key. There are level 82 lesser demons on this path, so be careful. Now head backwards until we find a ladder. Now you want to go to Verak. We're going to go up to this house in the forest northwest of Verak.